Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, well, so of course these are the two similar receivers, so the Canicom GP7 SSB, uh, which is also a Texan PL368. Uh, Nick at Canicom um, came back to me saying that uh, the antenna, the reason the antenna is sturdier on the uh, Canicom is because it's in stainless steel. So it makes it um, a more rigid antenna and a better, um, a better antenna. You know, one of the things of Texan that I would say is negative, and I see it both on the Texan PL990X particularly, how thin and extremely fragile the top of the antenna seems to be um, on that radio. And so it's a really good idea that they have actually modified the antenna and have something that is much sturdier on, on, on the Conicom. And it really feels like it, better quality antenna. Um, as for the firmware version, a lot of people are asking, you know, how do you know the firmware version and what's the firmware version of the uh, Conicom? So this Texan PL368, which is technically the same radio uh, in the electronics, this one was the Chinese version. And to see if uh, what version you have, you have to go and hold the um, VFVM button here at the bottom. And when all the segments appear on the display on the top right afterwards, you will see what's the uh, version number. And here it's 3682. On the county count version, it has been updated. And the county count version here, you see that it's 3684. So this is an updated firmware. Uh, of course, the county count comes with the latest firmware available for these little radios. What's the difference between the firmwares? Um, well, one feature that I do see is um, different is the fact that the firmware brings uh, the ability to calibrate the frequency. Uh, the original one, the 3682, you cannot calibrate the frequency. So uh, that is something that was added in firmware to the updated version, which means the latest Texan PL368 probably has um, the same um, um, firmware and the ability, of course, to calibrate. Uh, for price, uh, County Com sells the... Texan the the, the uh, GP7 SSB at 9495 so that's um that's you know a fair competition price and you know the fact that you order it from a trusted source in the United States at the same time I often have people asking me you know I don't want to buy from some overseas place and even though Ananco has an excellent service you know um uh, sometimes <clears throat> it is actually better and not just that, sometimes for customs reasons, for any types of, you know, extras that might be happening because you're ordering from outside the country. At least now you're, you can order it directly from the United States if you're in the U.S. It's, uh, and, of course, they do uh, ship to Canada also. But um, you can buy it directly from a U.S. source, which often makes it less complicated for shipping and for uh, getting the radio anyways. So, uh, firmware version 3684 is the uh, latest firmware. And like I said, it probably has a few other things that it fixes uh, in there, but um, it does um, add the uh, frequency calibration option, option uh, in the radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.